I'm Chef Plum, and I've got my buddy, the CT Chef's Challenge Champion, Chef Adam Bedini from CT Street. Are you hanging out with me today? Tell them where we are. We're at Mohawk Bison in Goshen, Connecticut. Mohawk Bison in Goshen, Connecticut. It's a bison farm in Connecticut. I had no idea. I can't wait to taste some of their products to see how many different ways are. Just how do you do a bison? It's blowing my mind. We're gonna take edible nutmeg on the road to Mohawk Bison in Goshen, Connecticut. Presented by the Stockwell Agency, Allstate Insurance. Mohawk Bison, established by owner Peter Fay in 2007 on his family's former dairy farm, is settled on the outskirts of Goshen, Connecticut, located in the scenic hills of Litchfield County. Preserving his ancestors' dedication to quality and sustainability, Peter strives to farm in a manner that provides balance between animals and the land, enjoying the open fields of their 60-acre farm. They are never subjected to questionable drugs, chemicals, or hormones. How many do we have on, on the property right now? Across the street in here, there's probably 60. This animal you said, for instance, that one's 2,300 pounds. What would be the yield on something like that? He probably dress about 1,400, so you'd probably get about 900 pounds of meat. Wow, off of him. Wow, that's insane. Do you use the bones for anything? Do they get to go yeah, to the Yeah, all the marrow or? bones get used. All the organs get used. And the Native Americans usually take the hides and the heads, so not too much goes to waste. The demand is just huge. It's huge. So can't I, I could sell twice as much as I do if I could raise enough animals. But bison is tricky. You have to understand what you're cooking when you cook bison. You can't just grill it like a regular burger. You can't just throw it in a hot pan to sear it like a regular piece of meat. Right, can't we? right. That's the biggest thing with people is educating them on how to cook it. And you being a chef, you would understand that. Let's take a walk outside and see if we can help people how to do sure. it. Sure. Want to? That works. Let's do it. I can't stand having anything more than protein and meat for dinners and I thought a really cool dish, especially being out here on the farm we could do, would be one of my favorites where we're actually going to make an awesome bison and grilled vegetable salad. Couldn't be any easier. I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright, when I do a marinade for things, it's really, really easy. We've got a nice bowl of chopped vegetables here. We've got some awesome spring onions cut up in here, some peppers, some squash, some mushrooms, and I even throw a few tomatoes in there because I think tomatoes help make the sauce. Adam, take the little small silver container there of garlic, right, pop that in there, get it all in there. There you go. You guys, give me a pinch of salt. And now I'm gonna have Peter do me a favor here, all right? Peter, you got this. See that wall of olive oil? <laughs> give me about a tablespoon or so put in there, right? Just kind of pour it right in there. There you go. All right, so now we're gonna take this, we're gonna toss this up, right? Toss up those vegetables. Grilled vegetables are one of the best things you can have in the summertime. It's so easy to do and quite the crowd pleaser too. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of this balsamic vinegar and pour it right in there. All right, I'm gonna toss this because you got a white shirt on, all right? Here we go, toss these guys up. And all we're gonna do is put them on the grill. But I wanna show everybody something really important here. It's also important when making bison. We're gonna use indirect heat. If you check out the grill, we have coals on one side and not so hot on the other side. It helps us kind of control the heat a little bit better. So we're hot here, not quite as hot here. Very important when cooking bison. So we'll just pop some of these vegetables down here on the grill and grill them off. There we go. The tomatoes, of course, right on top of the grill there our marinated vegetables, and then we're also gonna take a half a lemon and pop it around the grill too. Now, in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some garlic on there, rosemary, salt, and a little bit of olive oil. So a little fresh rosemary, really important to use fresh herbs on this. Fresh herbs add so much more flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these steaks and we're gonna put them on the indirect side of heat. Now the reason why, Peter, maybe you should tell them, why should we cook bison not on super high heat? Well, because there's very little fat in it, so it cooks a lot quicker, so low heat and slower is better. Low and slow is the way to go when cooking bison, and I didn't even mean to make that rhyme, that was awesome. <laughs> Here we go. So we've got the indirect side and the hot side. Remember, coals are on one side, not so many coals on the other side. We're going to pop the steaks, and we're going to put these guys on here and let them roll. We'll check them in about 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll slice them up. It'll be awesome. We're going to pull these guys off. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Set them on our cutting board. Yeah, this looks unbelievable. Letting the meat rest is one of the most important things you can do because what happens is all that juice gets back through the meat. So it's nice, juicy, and just so tasty, and we don't want to ruin this beautiful bison, that's for sure. While this rests, I'm gonna have Bedini take our vegetables that we grilled right here. You can see, awesome, we've got some tomatoes, we've got those onions, we've got those uh, mushrooms, and just chop them up on the board, a rough chop. As we're slicing this up, Peter, tell me, what's the difference? Bison and buffalo, it gets confusing sometimes, doesn't it? Yes, um, buffalo are in Asia and Africa. And this is uh, Plains Bison from North America. So Plains Bison from North America. So Bison's from America, is that right? And, and Buffalo is from Africa. Africa and Asia. Water Buffalo and Cape Buffalo. Gotcha. Nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how you can see it's so sunny here. Look how it's blushing there. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. We're going to finish this off right now. Some of our grilled lemon right on top of there. Right? 
and then we hit it with a little bit more rosemary. Adam's gonna, I'll, Adam's gonna pepper us up. And I gotta let my man Peter finish it off with a pinch of salt. Get in there, sprinkle it all around. Awesome. Gentlemen, family style dining on a bison farm right here in Connecticut. I had no idea. Trust me, I'm not leaving. I'm here forever now. This dish, I can't wait to dig in. These guys, they haven't even looked up for one second yet. You notice that they're staring at it. Easy to do. Check it out. See what you think. Guys, come on here and get some. Until next time, we'll catch you down the road with Edible Nutmeg on the road. Let's get in there.